Hello folks, welcome to a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to deploy Azure Databricks with default configuration. So let's get started. Log into your Azure portal. As you can see, I'm already logged in. Then click on create a resource. Look for Azure Databricks. Click on create Azure Databricks. Select the subscription you want to deploy here. For the resource group, you can either select an existing resource group or you can create a new one. In this case, I will create a new resource group. Enter a workspace name. Select the region. For my case, it is Canada Central. Select a pricing tier. It can be either standard or premium. You can also use a trial version for the premium. I will be selecting premium. You can always switch from standard to premium once you have deployed the workspace. For the managed source group name, you can assign a name for the Azure Databricks managed source group. If you don't, one will be created automatically. This group includes resources managed by Databricks such as managed identity, virtual network, NHG, and DBFS storage account. So let's give it a name. Click on next. Networking. For the networking, there are two options. Secure cluster connectivity, which is also known as no public IP. With this option, customer virtual network have no open ports and Databricks runtime cluster nodes won't have public IP addresses. Communication between the clusters and the control plane is private. The second option is deploy Azure Databricks workspace in your own VNet. It gives you more control over the Databricks cluster VNet. And the first option can also be enabled with the basic configuration. We will select no for now. Click on next. Encryption. You can use your own cluster managed keys for the encryption of Databricks managed disk and the services. For double encryption DBFS route, you can enable infrastructure encryption during the workspace creation. Note, this option cannot be changed after the workspace is created. Click on next. Tags. Tags are used in Azure environment for organizing for the billing purpose of the resources. We will keep it blank for now. Click on Review plus create. Once the deployment is validated, we will hit create. It will take a few minutes to deploy the resource. We will resume once the resource deployment is complete. So our deployment is complete. Click on go to resource. Let's explode manage source group. You can see these services are managed by Databricks. Let's go back and click on launch workspace to launch our Databricks environment. You can see it is using SSO from Azure Active Directory to log in. That's it. You have successfully deployed Azure Database with the default configuration. Thank you for joining me in this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, remember to show your support by liking and subscribing for more Azure Database related content. We will bring more in-depth videos related to Azure Database in the upcoming videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Looking forward to connecting with you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.